Park Hills Church. This is Pastor Graham and Alex with you today, and we're here for another Spiritual Disciplines video. So music, podcasts, TV, movies, music, noise, noise, noise. Yeah. We're constantly surrounded by noise. We're constantly surrounded by distractions, and we're actually in a culture that looks to just always be entertained. So even when you're in line at the grocery store, the first thing that you do when you sense boredom creep in is you do what? You pull out your cell phone. You, you just need something that's gonna distract you, something that's gonna give you some noise, something that's gonna keep that entertainment machine rolling. But we must ask the question, what is all this noise doing to us spiritually? And that's why we're gonna focus on this month's spiritual discipline. Yeah, we're gonna talk about silence and solitude, which is so counterculture to everything we do today, but Jesus himself actually practiced silence and solitude quite often. Uh, look at Matthew chapter four, verse one. It says, then Jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He intentionally took time away from all his followers uh, to experience silence and solitude. Yeah, Matthew 14, verse 23 says, uh, and after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. Look at Mark 1.35, it says, And rising very early in the morning while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. And then our last verse is Luke 4.42, And when it was day, he departed and went into a desolate place. And the people sought him and came to him, and would have kept him from leaving them. Yeah, so what do we learn from the practice of Jesus? I think we learn that it's helpful and beneficial to our spiritual lives to take a break from all the noise and distraction from everything that's going on and to remove those things so we can focus on our relationship with Christ, so we can spend time with Him and so we can spend um, like meaningful, uh, space away from the normal distractions, whether those things are good or bad. I mean, some of these music, communication, things like that, they're not necessarily bad, but they can crowd out the space that God has for us to communicate with Him. Mm -hmm. Yep, so this week, as a, this month as a church, we're going to practice the spiritual discipline of silence and solitude. And so we want to challenge you, uh, why don't you take an inventory this month of all the distraction, all the entertainment, all the noise, all the things that we fill our lives up with, and just, just try to take inventory of how much time that's taking. Uh, but then ultimately, we want you to practice silence and solitude. So find time to get away. Find time to be outside. Find time to just, just be in the presence of God and just, just seek Him without the distractions of the phones, the TVs, and everything that wants to capture our attention. All right, that's what we have. Thanks, guys. See ya.